Hey guys, I'm Rick here, and today I'm coming back at you with an update from the Vietnam War Mock. Now, I believe that this is part 8 or episode 8, but I will have the correct part number or episode number in the title. So if I'm incorrect, uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's my fault. You know, <laughs> I'm just not so great at keeping track of what number in this series I'm currently at. Now, you know, <laughs> that might seem a little silly, but for some reason, every time I sit down to film these videos and I start going, I always forget which part I am, so that's kind of the reasoning. But anyways, today's going to be a relatively short update, but just wanted to give you some general things that have been worked on. So if I lift this off of my stand, so as you can see, this portion up here has been finished. Uh, I've done some of the landscaping, as you can see. Uh, that's going to be making this part up. I will say that this is likely not the final uh, look of this area. It's kind of just a rough uh, approximation of what it will be. As you can see, I have utilized some of the filler brick from the Civil War mock over here and over here to kind of complete this area. Uh, I'm going to be expanding the mock further. If I move these pieces out of the way, to include all of this front area. That will be the eventual size of it. However, at this point, I'm not quite prepared to do that. One other thing that you'll see is I added a lot more minifigs. Specifically, I added, oh, I dropped him. I added some of these newer TMC Vietnam minifigs. Uh, and if you look closely, what you will see, if it can focus properly, is that I am using Brick Arms Overmolds as opposed to Brick Mania Perfect Calibers. Uh, so I'm trying to transition a lot of these guys onto the overmolds, but I'm kind of curious, what do you guys think looks better? Do you think that these overmolds look good? Let me zoom in. Here's what they look like. Do you think they're a little bit of overkill? I know that some people that I've asked about it have thought that having overmolds for all of the people or even a majority of the people might be a bit overkill. One, of course, due to the expensive nature of them, just the priciness of them, that would be quite... Uh, you know, a money heavy endeavor. But beyond that, perfect calibers do get the job done. Uh, if I can find a perfect caliber, like the ones over here, they look pretty good in comparison to this overmold. So I'm curious what you guys think. If you have any opinions on that, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Now, as I said, the main change this week was kind of the building of this section and then the layering of all this filler brick. Uh, in addition, I kind of made these uh, vegetation areas a little bit more full here, as you can see, utilizing these leaf pieces, and then also here. I'm trying out this technique where you put the plants, the stems, upside down on top of just like, I think it's uh, it's like that round uh, tube piece. I don't know what to describe it as. You can see it here clearly. Uh, but I, I was trying this out as a new technique. I don't know how much I like it. I think that they look a little bit stubby and they don't really look like a jungle plant, but that's kind of the technique we're trying out for now because I have a lot of the pieces, so it'll be quite easy for me to make many of those if needed. Also, as you can see over here, I'm trying to change some elevation. So I think a big issue for this mock right now is that it's rather flat. And because of that, the vegetation that I have placed doesn't actually go very high. So in order to make the vegetation appear essentially taller than it is, what I thought I could do is essentially build up this brick built kind of little island and then place all the veg vegetation on the top and the sides to almost make these trees and you know the plants appear larger. I don't know if that works very well in comparison to something like this as you can see which one of these looks taller. Now of course just factually the one on the right is taller but I don't know whether it looks more re realistic than this design on the left. If you guys have any feed feedback, <laughs> not feed feedback for this uh, or you have other techniques to make this vegetation appear fuller uh, that would be greatly appreciated because right now this is kind of what I'm going with. I don't really know how I would alter it to change it. So one thing that I know a lot of people have said is it kind of feels like I have too many minifigs on the mock. Now I do acknowledge that I have quite a lot. I think I almost have like 30 in total right here in view. But keep in mind that this is about probably a third of the total mock or even just a quarter. So it's going to be a lot larger than this in its final version and it's essentially in its final form. So I'm not too worried about there being a lot of minifigures. I'm glad that TMC has released many minifigures recently because as you can see, if it'll focus, there are lots of variations in helmets, body types, 
camos, weaponry, just everything is very varied, which I am very much a fan of. You know, I don't like all of my guys kind of appearing exactly the same. I think that the variation amongst troops is very important as it increases kind of how dynamic the mock seems and how realistic it seems. And to that end, I think that the new Vietnam troops and the addition of a variety of weaponry from both uh, Brick Arms and Brick Mania, you know, the perfect calibers and the overmolds has really made these guys come more to life. Of course, there's also some accessories from things like Brick Tactical, as you can see this cigarette. I will be getting some Citizen Brick lighters as well to add a little bit more of an accessory to this mock. But beyond that, that's kind of where that stands. Now, in terms of vehicles, I know that a lot of people have been asking about this, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I have been, or I made, should I say, an M113, and I plan to make some more of these. Uh, this is just the first one, uh, and I'm just essentially kind of trying to decide where I'm going to be placing this in the mock itself. Right now, it's just sitting off to the side, as you can see, uh, as it awaits further placement. Essentially, I think the main thing that it's waiting for is just kind of me to finally decide how big this mock will be, and then I can work it in. Beyond that, I'm planning at least one Huey to be in this mock, so keep an eye out for that. I have not built the most recent Brick Mania one yet. Yes, I know I said that I was going to soon, I just haven't found the time. Uh, it's just much bigger of an endeavor than placing some filler brick and creating some vegetation, right? It's a lot larger time investment for me to create that Brick Mania Huey than it is to do this stuff. And I think that I would prefer to create these incremental episodes where I'm able to show some progress as opposed to wait a long time between update videos. Uh, I know that you guys really enjoy these and I think that if I waited a long time, some of you might get a little disappointed or want to see them more frequently as I have taken a long time in the past. But besides that, there's not a lot of updates, so as always, like, comment, subscribe to normal stuff, and I'll catch you next time, guys.